What is going on, guys? It's the end of it. I'm here, and welcome back to another season, another episode of Operation Franchise Rescue Arizona Coyotes Season 3. Before we get started, I gotta say, man, guys, ladies, gentlemen, boys, and girls of all ages, thank you so much for the views on the very first video. And the views are killing it on the second video, like, not like astronomical numbers, but it means a lot to me seeing that these videos are actually being watched and seen more. It means a lot to me. Uh, <clears throat> it's a great feeling. Now, before we continue on, one more thing. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that like, let me know what you think in the comments and see if there's any need for changes and what else we need to do to make this series even better than it is right now. But back to the episode. All right, so we have made some significant changes here, uh, especially to this team. We've added Sebastian Ajo, the good one, not the not the other one. Uh, going by position here, centers. Ajo, Schmaltz, Cooley, and uh, Jenik, I'm hoping it's pronounced correctly. Uh, Keller, Kraus, Gunther, and Marcelli. Marcelli. Like, this is great. Like, the growth and everything else. We have Patrick Kane, who's going on a cheaper deal this next year. $4.75 million <clears throat> for the next two years after this one. Uh, we got Poviari at $2.4 million. Then we have Mishkov, who is an 82 overall right now. Definitely ready to see how he does. Uh, second year with us. I do not remember if he actually... No, he played with the Tuscan Rail Runners last year, so he could possibly go for that Calder trophy. Uh, Doan, he has now officially made the team. Let's see how he does. He is definitely like his father's son. Why does it say undrafted? He got drafted. I remember him getting drafted because it was a big deal. His dad drafted him. Defenseman, we are looking really good defensively. Uh, Tay, Soderstrom, Zadorov, Lindgren, uh, Chonko. I'm going to just call him Chonko, Moser, and Bamaleki. And goalies, we got Waldstedt and Talbot. Talbot's probably on his last season with us, but I don't know. And we go looking in the system. We have some... Goalie's coming up. I did not want to sign uh, Horchuk. Uh, it, it makes no sense right now, especially with him being 19. I wanted him to go for one more year. Banks, though, I wanted to get him in here and start getting him to grow. So maybe he can be on the team here in the next few years. Uh, Geeky, Lutz, McBain, Suzuki, Douglas, and Kirk. All rounding out our center forwards here. So we have two extra left wingers. We only have three. Uh, it might be a little bit of an issue. Just got to wait and see what happens. Three. I might just go in and sign some bottom nine. Uh, defense. We look pretty solid. Yeah, it looks like most of these guys are actually going to be. Yep. They're. Whoa. Hang on. Okay. It drops off. Never mind. Kind of had a. Pause for concern there for a second. Let's go sign uh, a left wing and a right wing just to be safe. Oh, wow. <clears throat> Yamamoto didn't get signed. Neither did Middlestat. Nope. I'm not going to press that issue. Uh, let's see. One year. Give you a little bit of money. And then we need a left wing. One year. Just do them one years. <clears throat> Just so we can fill out the team a little bit. And then looking at our overall stats, I am feeling like we got a good team for us right now. Let's see. 96 offense, 94 defense, and 83 goaltending. Walls that's still growing, but Talbot is slowly going down. Uh, you can see our lines... Yeah, this looks good. Like Keller, Ajo, Cooley, uh, Gunther, Schmaltz, and Kane, Mishkov, Kraus, and Maselli, Janot, Doan, and Poviari. Then defensively, 
Tace, Hodestum, Valmecki, Bizadorov, Lingren, and Chunko. I'm going to just call him Chunko. You know what? It makes it easier for me. Wallstead, and then, uh, this team looks really good. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to sugarcoat this. This team looks very good. Only thing that's cause for concern is this second pairing, but only a minus one. Roberts, he might make it up this next year, and so think, uh, Kiwi Harju. Kiwi Harju. Kiwi. We'll just call him Kiwi. You know what? Reminds me of a friend I had a long time ago. Not really a lot long ago, actually. Wow. Time is definitely a perspective for some. Uh, okay, let's get into this. As always, we sim up to December 1st. Yep, and yep, we got both those guys. Three, three, and one to start out the preseason. Uh, let's see how we do with the uh, beginning of the season. Now, I signed Ajo to a monstrous deal for one year so we can possibly get him cheaper on the back end as long as he's willing to resign with us. If not, trade him at deadline, get some good pieces out of him. Maybe have to retain some salary on some one years. But we'll have to wait and see what happens. <clears throat> I am a little congested this morning. I did have a migraine yesterday. Pretty bad, so uh, hopefully it doesn't bug me too much doing this. All right, we're not doing great. We're not doing terrible. 12, 10, and 1. We are not. We actually are in a playoff position. 25 points with... Oh, wait, hang on. So some of these teams have... Way less, we have way more games played than some of these other teams. Oh, geez. That could be an issue. Sebastian Ajo, 22 points in 23 games. Not a point per game like we'd want to see, but definitely not terrible. No one needs re signing. I, that's the great thing. We got 10 million in cap space and no one needs to be re signed just yet. Hang on. I, Yeah, we're not going to have to really re worry about re-signing anybody at the end of this season. Besides maybe some small... Yeah, we're going to have to re-sign a few. McBain, how much does he want? No, you're not getting that. Thank God he's an RFA. Uh, McCarty, no. No. So no one needs to be wor <clears throat> worried about re-signing yet. Uh, let's look at the line, see how... Anything's really showing like detrimental to us. Cooley's not doing good. Uh, wow. First line's doing terrible. Let's see if we switch this up completely. <laughs> Wonder. Gunther Kane. He's a sniper, two way playmaker. Okay. Playmaker, two way. Two-way. Okay. Uh, I wonder. He's a sniper. Can I? I lose my plus five on that. Mishkov is not doing much. Maybe Gunther moves down. Uh, let's try these lines. See how it goes. I... I hate to hurt Gunther's growth. That's the only thing. Schmaltz. Cooley's a center. Yeah. Let's move Schmaltz down. Cooley, Gunther, Keller. Gunther on first line. You know what? Let's try this. Sniper, two-way playmaker. Playmaker, two-way sniper. That should help out. Uh, let's see, playmaker, power forward, two-way. Grinder, power forward, two-way. Not not great, but... Let's see how this goes for us. Let's see if we can get some more scoring in here. Do not want to move Sebastian Ajo off that top line. Uh, let's go to February 27th. That's one week before trade deadline. So we can get people re-signed that need to be re-signed. And look at that. We start off with wins. 
Win, 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 no matter what. <laughs> I'm enjoying my coffee right now. It's my last cup of coffee I can have for the day, too. God damn it. No, I'm not trading schmaltz. All right, we're really starting to turn it up. Now, the ownership has actually been happy with the moves I've made. Uh, they have not said anything like negative. They think we're going in the right direction. The only thing they questioned me on was, why did I sign him such a big deal, Sebastian Ajo, for only one year? And it was like, he's not a rental. You're not buying him as a rental. I'm like, no, but we have negotiating rights with him before anyone else does. So, And we've fallen out of playoff position. Uh, not good. So we'll have to check the points once we're actually in playoff position again. 15, okay, he's now a point per game. Uh, maybe getting a backup goalie besides Talbot. Uh, okay, Kane's now a minus nine. He's an 84, though. God. Keller's doing okay. His last year to grow, Taze. He's actually doing really well. 45 points. 40. Is, is this Cooley's first season with us? Nope, it's his second. I I'm I got a terrible memory, guys. I apologize. Gunther Schmaltz, Mishkov. He is now starting to pick it up a little bit. Uh, let's look at rookie skaters in the league. All right, we got Doan and Mijkov. Geeky is actually doing well. Geeky should be coming up. I think he will come up this next year. Might have to make some moves to have that happen. All right. Uh, Mijkov is five points behind the rest. 18, a 23-year-old. How He's an... Okay. 21, 20. Thankfully, Meshkov's like... Uh, pull in. He doesn't... He's a... Okay, interesting. We're not doing too bad. Uh, we need to go look at our goalies, though, before we get too distracted here. Waltstead's 901, 325. Maybe, maybe we need to get some better defense in front of him. He's got... I'm not trading him away. But we now can see who we can re-sign. I'm hoping he says yes. No, he does not want to come back. That's quite a bit cheaper. Eight years. Oh, man. I'm not wanting to commit to... That is definitely not something you wanted to see. All right. We're not going to worry about it. We're going to go to the trade deadline and see what we can get for him. Maybe a first-round pick and some extra stuff. Yeah, it looks like we're going to fall out of the playoffs. Damn. Enter trade deadline. Taze is not being traded. That's... That's bottom line right there. Carlson. No. Bergeron. He's on an expiring deal. Let's take a look at him. Oh. <laughs> uh, if I can get a few firsts out of this, that'd be... Oh, no, they traded him right off the bat. Oh. Okay, hang on, hang on. Johnson. I can do this. And I can send Toronto second. A fifth. Ooh. 
Ooh. Maybe a prospect along with it because how's their what's their record look like? Their record is worse than ours, but it could get better. Uh, do we have any prospects here? This is getting interesting. Like getting someone younger. He's 77 at 23. Lutz is 78. Geeky, no. Oh, wait, why do they pick centers fours? I know I have more than that. Schmaltz, I might move at the end of the season. No, Coronado. And we'll take a crap player from you guys. This would work out really well. Youth. There we go. We got a massive first round pick. The Dora for Bobrovsky. No, that's not going to happen. Uh, I'm not being full seller here. I should have said conservative. Uh, I still can't believe they got him off that quickly. God damn it. Let's see what other teams have on the block. Mark's the only one. I can't. You know, Just would be upset if he actually saw that in real life. Top six forward. How old is he? 20? What do they want for him? No. Ooh. I would not need retain salary. And maybe sending over good prospect to have I don't have any third third maybe a, a fifth as well I got two first a second a third a third fifth seventh uh don't want to give up any more thirds why am I giving up thirds maybe a fifth in 2029 close Okay, maybe uh, 2029 fourth. It's a little bit of an upgrade. All right, there we go. I don't think we need to make much more in the way of moves, Tanev's, Uyghur. Wow, crazy. Just wait, Lombardi is on the block? Now, hang on, hang on, hang on. Skaters matching block. Lombardi. Top six forward. Oh, my God. He is. Wait, 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 wait. Seems pretty close. And then I'm going to have to throw a pick in there. I, I feel like I have too much of the advantage here. 
2037. Now it's on my side now. Let's see if, what happened if I, yeah, it's, all right, so if I give up a sixth and they give me back a seventh, Okay, a seventh for a seventh. All right, prospects, prospects, prospects. And we're out of the deadline. I need to make some moves now. Uh, no, thank you. Now let's edit our lines a little bit. Jesus Christ. Wow, okay, so nothing really... Dolan's already growing a little bit. Okay. Like, this team should be killer. Uh, defensively. Looks good. Goalies, Talbot, how's he doing? Eight, who? Talbot's doing terrible. Wow, this team's doing terrible when it comes to goaltending wise. Okay. Scratched. Poviari, wow, he's got scratched. I didn't realize he got scratched. All right, Mnark and Austin. Hopefully, this does not put me under cap. Firm, send those two down. Now, we edit the lines down here. Ryan Suzuki. Uh, let's see. Now, oh, this team looks really good. Amadeus Lombardi. Ooh, what, where does he actually fit? Oh, he actually fits better on the second line. Cardi. Let's get the scratch players out there. Wait. Top nine. Bottom six. Folk. Do I have anybody that's, like, close to... Yeah. There we go. Plus two. Defensively. These guys are going to be ready for next year. We're going to have some struggles when it comes to next year, actually, probably. All right. The season has sucked, but I feel like we're going in the right direction. And I can't complain about that. But as long as Columbus continues to... Wow, we are losing bad. I only have two more seasons to get us in contention after this. All right. Looks like the Tuscany Roadrunners are going to actually make the playoffs. So we'll sum up the first four games. Ooh, we're down 2-1 in the series. 
Down 3-1. Ooh, guys, come on. This is not what we need. After one, we're down 2-1. to one. <laughs> God, hey, Lombardi getting a goal for us. After two, we're down 3-2. Uh, wow, we're going against Reimer, of all people. We're out shooting them, just barely. Oh, my God. Come on, guys. Do something. This is quite frustrating, actually. Uh, well, did not meet expectations, but it happens. Hey, good news is Columbus did not make playoffs. Where did Columbus actually fall off at? This is where we need to look and see how we did. St. Louis. Wait, wait, wait. Hang on, hang on, hang on. St. Louis. Columbus was 25th. We were 29th. So our first two picks should be in the top 10. Patch Kane has dropped off quite a bit. Looking at contracts. That's a cheaper deal than what we had. Plus he's only 22. Making sure we don't need to re-sign anybody. Talbot wants to come back. I don't know if I want to bring him back. I want to bring somebody in to be a good, solid backup. Let's see who wins. I don't want to look at the draft class. We will look at the draft class before we start drafting. The Toronto Maple Leafs, can you believe that, actually win a Stanley Cup? They actually made it out of the first round. $95 million is our salary cap. Oh, wow. Crazy. Let's see where the picks are. We're picking first and eighth. <laughs> wow. Okay. Let's see who's all retired. Justin Abcator, I completely forgot he was still in the game. Detroit buying out his contract. Uh, Arizona Coyotes, we lost a coach. Uh, we lost three total coaches. Interesting. Continue simming. Okay. Let's view this draft class real quick before we actually get in. Michael Misa. Oh, my God. Now... This is where you just take best available. And then sharp. Two years. Brian Leach, two-way defenseman. Uh, we don't need... I feel like we're in a good spot. Connor McDavid won the memorial. God damn. 79 overall. Wow. We didn't really need centers. We need wingers. We need right wingers, actually. So I'm to pick eight. Let's see if we can get a winger. Oh, so Sharp is there. Where's this guy from? Like, hang on, hang on. I really feel like I need a winger, but at the same time, like I don't want to pass up on this defenseman. A balanced player. Oh, let's see what this one is. 
Patrick Kane. I don't need another center. Must bulk up, play with more of his creativity. Magic hands, tape to tape, make it snappy and wheels. Uh, I don't know. See if there's any other gems in this draft. If there's no more gems in the draft. I'm all right. We got that gem and that one. They're both centers. I don't feel like I need defensemen. Do I need defense? I, I got two that are coming up. I'm probably gonna trade two away to make cap room. Do I make the safe bet and take them? I'm going to do the safe thing. Take him if I need. I wish I had it now. 78 elite. Wow. Let's see what he's got. He has nothing really there for him. So let's get the pick 36 guys. I don't really trust you guys on defense right now. <laughs> I can always drop back to 50th and pick him up. Get the top six low. <sighs> we need right wingers. If I can pick up wingers. I mean, it, it, this is what they want me to get. Top four, 60... I'm getting annoyed. Fine. Actually, that was probably a dumb move on my part. Here's a right wing. Top six low. Anything special about him? Nothing really special. Fifty fifty chance of being elite. How many years? Five years? How about this guy? Three years? I'll take a left winger. Top six low. Wow. Uh, like the draft is not my favorite thing at all. Back up, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. I don't need defensemen. We need wingers, right wingers, man. I don't get this. Like, they tell you, pick this person, pick this person. No, you flipping idiot. Oh, wow, a lot of people. Interesting. We got 18 million in cap space. I want to see if I can get him for 1.1. 97 fines, fine. Bottom six, make room for somebody that's growing. Who did I just get rid of? Okay, Lombardi's still there. Never mind. Uh, we got some guys that are... He's 25. I don't think he's going to be... How'd he do? Kirk, I'm sorry. I am replacing you with this. And it's a cheaper deal, too, probably. Gunther's going to want some money. Maselli. Thank God I got him on a cheap deal. Buck. Harkins. That's not bad for 23. No. All right. Give him one more year. Give him a little bit more money. He might do a little something. Right wingers. 
where we're hurting the most. If you're being qualified, you don't get a choice. We're going to have to sign some. I'm not putting bottom sixes out there. Thankfully, Patrick Kane's on a cheap deal for us. All right, defense. We have a lot of defense. Zadorov. Oof. Lingren, Soderstrom. Good deals. Roberts. Gonna release him. I don't see any point of keeping him. Uh, 67 sharp. I'm really tempted just to let those two guys sit for a year and see what happens. Goalies. Waltstadt, how many years do I have him signed for? Eight years, 3.8. Okay, that's not bad. Uh, let's see. I feel like our we're gonna have to make a move. And let's go to our scouts real quick. I know our coaches are gone. Which coach is retired though? Oh my god. Our head coach is just terrible. We lost a bunch. Oof. At least we got our goalie coach still. Uh, scouts real quick. We'll sign some new... Oops. This is the frustrating part. When you lose almost everything, this team's going to be pretty much brand new this year when it comes to coaching staff. All right. So hopefully we get some good news. He just decided to renew. All right, we got to go back to one of them. I'm trying to remember where he was at. Was he a winger? I'll give you a little bit more. Everybody's now going to start resigning. <sighs> yep. Just, uh, got 18 million in cast base. Can do a lot with that. First thing to do is resign coaches. Now, here's going to be the problem. Taze, Kent Johnson, Kane, Keller, Cooley. Schmaltz, Gunther. Okay, it looks like he does well with most of the team. Give you exactly what we offered our coach. Five, five over five years. Because money don't matter. out real quick and guess what goodbye like the AHL head coach is doing really well actually 87 41 and 16 I think that's the second season all right we need an assistant coach real quick <laughs>
Ooh, offense. That actually looks really appeasing. Let's go with you. All right. Associate coach. Three. Six. Looks like best fit for the team overall. As I said, guys, I spend money. Hang on. B and a C. Yep, take him. And then O Canada. Uh cheapest one. Two hundred and sixty. Uh, hopefully, they take the deals. It's a lot of money to be dishing out. Uh, free agency. I feel like there's going to be something big here. Only one team's offered them that money. Brat is probably at RFA. Steven Stamkos. Interesting. Kent Johnson, how much do you want? Wow, what a deal. That is a huge deal. Logan Cooley, how much do you want? Schmaltz. I'm actually willing to move on from Schmaltz. Uh, Schmaltz, I I love the guy. He, what he's done for this team. I hit the wrong button. I'm stupid. But having too many. Do not want to give it to somebody in our conference. Like this is gonna be the better deal. All right, let's view the contracts centers. Geekies are left wingers. Miss Sally Gunther, how much do you want? You two four and a half. Sally, how much do you want? Seems a little extreme. Three and a half. Uh, Jesse Poliari, I'm going to dump him. You didn't make the... You weren't even on the team last year. Doan... Oh, God. I, I just don't... I just not... Not the team anymore. Third and a fourth. Third and a third. I'll take that. 
I've just gone through everything, just looking to see what I need to do to change this team. Uh, that is going to be like a game time decision there. Uh, Six. Who do I move on from? Lingren. Yep. Lingren. Uh, Jesus Christ. I'm... Second and a fourth. Second and a fourth. Dallas. Accept. Hey. I'm looking at it this way. We're trying to build assets, but also I can't like let these guys still sit there at the bottom of the uh, rotation. <laughs> I'm surprised that got picked up. And if you guys heard it, laugh with me. It's fine. Oh, God, this is bad. My stomach is way off. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I don't give a shit, though. Actually, I do, but I'm not actually, I'm not going there. Never mind. Uh, we need a backup goalie, actually. That's the first thing we should be doing, not worrying about everything else. We need a goalie. Igor Shosturkin. Ooh. Ooh. Gustafson? No, we don't want somebody that's going to be above him. Forsberg. Linus Olmark. Linus. Cletus. One year. I think that's fair. Now let's go back and let's do best. No. Claude Drew. Taze. He's 37. He would take place of Schmaltz. Just. He's saying he's perfectly going to fit with that. Left wingers. We really don't need any. Right wingers. I'd love to get Brad, but huh. uh, I don't know. Brock Besser would be a good second option. I'm going to have to pay somebody big money because we're going to be way too under the uh, salary cap, I feel like. Ah. Uh. No, actually, we should be right over it. Is there any defense that we can pick? Like, I don't know about Chikrin. Like, I feel like it would be a good move, but at the same time, like, I don't know. It would be more of a right D that goes along with him. Maybe I don't need a right defense. Maybe I just need a Solstrom Dorov. Maybe do a one-year deal. See how Chikrin does. And if he does well enough, give him a uh, extension. That's what we're going to do. We're going to sign Chikrin, Chikrin to a one-year $8 million deal or eight point. Let's say 8.5, just to secure it. We have the money. Now we just need to see if the coaches take us. Awesome. Awesome. This is good. 
Oh my god, this makes me feel so much more comfortable. There we go. Coaching staff has been taken. Tay's accepted. Okay, okay, you know what? No! <laughs> Chikrin's back with the... <laughs> He's like, I never come back. I'll never come back. You came back. Uh, Dolan was a center. No, he was not. He was a winger. Why am I stupid? Two point three two years. Kind of hoping that we got the uh, whatever. Flurry. It's just he still looks decent. Uh. You know what? Give Flurry the chance. You have the flower, the chance to be on the team. I don't care if he drops, but his poise should help out quite a bit. There we go. Now let's look at the uh, AHL team real quick. See if we need to add any more pieces really quick. We are, oh my God, we're set. I don't get it. Take the deal, dude. One, oh my, one, two, three, four. Sharp, you're coming up. Is he? Uh. He'll be a road runner. Somebody's getting sent back down. All right. Let's get to the next season. Let's hope that this actually looks really good for us. We're not making any more trades. No more moves. Unless we need to, like, get rid of something. I'm not getting rid of Tanner Janot. Tanner Janot. God, what is wrong with me and my speaking? Like, am I just, like, stupid? Let's not answer that question. Uh, I don't want to be all by myself. Don't want to be. I wonder how much money I'm going to have for next year after. I actually... I cut four million out. I've added like seven or eight. Ooh, hopefully everything bounces out. That's what I'm worried about. Nothing balancing out. Okay, Jesus Christ, let us get to the season for God damn, I'm not giving you guys anything. You guys see this, right? This is like wasting my time. If you decline after like five times in a row, like uh I don't know. Let's look at this team. He's was supposed to be. Okay. Gunther, either first or second. Completely first, Mishkov. Ooh, he's going third. Wow, that's even better. Cool, he makes that. Does Keller have face-offs? No, he does not. Yiki is a center. He should have face-offs. Who's scratched? Patrick Kane is scratched. Interesting. And Roberts is scratched. Interesting.
I feel as though... Janote is going to be gone. Wait, no one's all the way up there? What the fuck did I just do? Oh, God. Come on. I got to figure this out. There we go. There we go. That looks way better. Oh, Jesus. Defense. Plus five. happens if I put him on the third line? Maybe we get a plus something on third. Who's the one I removed? Moser. Yeah. I feel like this would be better. Scratched. Note. Moser. Defense. So let's look at goaltending wise. Waldstedt and Flurry. This looks like a pretty good... Yeah, this looks way better. Yeah, this team looks badass. Let's go check out. Okay. Balk. Balk, balk. Where's Lombardi? Lombardi's right there. He's a second liner. Huh. This looks really good, actually. McCarty, second line. Wow, he's oh, he's gonna make the team next year. Thornton. You know what? This is new coaching staff, so I can't be upset. Uh, he's the fringe starter. And that's what it's going to look like. Let's look at how... <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, God. All right, let's look, take a look at it, see how this team's going to look. Uh, not giving up sharp. Stop it. No more trades. Stop. Being stupid. Let's look at this team overall before we get out of here. And we are 94 offense, 98 defense, and 85 goaltending. This team looks pretty dang good. But we're going to have to see how this season goes. This next season will be season four. And season five will be make it or break it for me. If I can make it, if I can get us to the playoffs. I am safe. If I can start making this into contenders, we are safe. So, but that is going to be it, everybody. I really appreciate you guys all hanging out and giving me all the love and support that you have. But for right now, that is it. I'll see you guys all again soon. Peace.